Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting and powerful video of exponential equation, where we are going to solve x is equal to i power i power i up to infinity. You can say it is star, star of imaginary number. So before going into the solution part, I just wanted to show you few important points like i power i, the value of i power i i we can write e raised to the power i pi over 2 whole power i okay now multiply i square pi over 2 that means this value is e raised to the power minus pi over 2 as i square is negative 1 and which is real number now second point i power i power i so if you will check e raised to the power minus pi over 2 power is i. So that value will be e raised to the power minus i pi over 2 which is equal to cos pi by 2 minus i sin pi by 2 so minus i. Now you can see this value is imaginary. One more value we will find out i power i power i power i. Three exponents are there. So its value will be minus i power i. So if you, you can write minus e raised to the power i pi by 2 whole power i. So that value will come out minus e minus pi over 2. And you can again observe it is real. Okay. So once power is odd. I am talking about only exponent power. When it is odd, then we will get real solution. And once power is even, if even I am talking, then that means two i's are there. If odd I am talking, that means one i. And in this case, you can see three i in power. So when power is odd, then real solution. And similarly, I have checked for four values. So that is holding true. So that creates dilemma in our mind. So method would be something else. That is why this equation is called impossible equation. What I am going to do, I will consider this power as x again. Okay. So equation will be x equal to i raised to the power x. Now take natural log both sides. So ln x would be equal to x ln i. Okay. This equation is recalling something. If you remember, see x is there, ln x is there. This equation is recalling something. If not, if it is not recalling, then x can be written as e raised to the power ln x. Let me write here ln x is equal to e raised to the power ln x times ln i. Now if you will see then it is recalling Lambert W function. See ln x and e raised to the power ln x. Lambert W function. What is that function? If k e raised to the power k equal to a, then this is by using lambda w function, we can write k is equal to w a. Wherever we will be getting log product form, k product with exponential e raised to the power same number k, same function k, then that value would be written in this lambda w form. So what I will do, I will write e raised to the power x in the left hand side first or second way what we can do multiply both sides by e raised to the power minus ln x. So let us get multiplied ln x times e raised to the power minus ln x equal to e raised to the power ln x into e raised to the power minus ln x ln i. 
so what will happen to the right that will be over now ln x times e raised to the power minus ln x equal to ln i okay if you will see the lambert w function then k should be same with sign also so minus sign is missing so to compensate or to adjust that minus sign we will multiply both sides by minus so equation will be minus ln x e raised to the power minus ln x equal to minus ln i now the concept of lambert w function will come into the picture i will write left hand side as minus ln x directly and right hand side would be w lambert function of minus ln i okay now you can see the equation where this one i am talking ln x is equal to x ln i so in place of ln x what i will put x ln i so minus x ln i equal to lambda w minus ln i okay now to get the value of x we have to divide both sides by minus ln i so x will come out w minus ln i divided by minus ln i okay now ln i can be written as ln e raised to the power i pi over 2 so by the property of log this i raised to the power i pi over 2 that will come as a coefficient so i will write i pi over 2 ln e will become 1 so this value will be x can be written as w minus i pi over 2 this is directly i will put ln i as i pi over 2 divided by minus ln i so that value will be minus i pi over 2 2 i will take in the numerator so this minus and i i will write let me write this minus sign in the numerator and that will be written as let me write this way minus 1 over i so how i will write minus 1 as i square denominator is i that will get cancelled out i plus i so it will come out 2 i w function minus i pi over 2 over pi this is our x okay this is our x the value of the given expression and if you will simplify using wolfram alpha tool then that value will come out 0.43828 plus 0.3605 i this is our value of that function this function is very very useful as far as complex solution or impossible equation solutions are concerned let me take you to the wolf of a graph actually it is showing only that complex number in argon plane and if you will notice 0.43828 plus 0.36059 was our solution x value and second form is in cis form third form is in exponent form so polar form cis form and complex number form with argon plane demonstration and here if you will see the values then there are multi complex number valued are possible okay that's it today we explored how to solve infinite exponential using lambert w function it's incredible mathematical tool actually that can help to find out complex equation solutions if you found this video interesting be sure to give it thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting mathematical content thank you for watching and we'll see 
you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.